Hey you guys, good morning. So it is exactly, well, I guess less than one week away from Baby S's due date, which is December 22. That is next Saturday. So today is Sunday and we are headed to our local Holiday Harvest Farmer's Market. They do three of them every year, so we're super lucky. Coming along for the ride are my red raspberry leaf tea, which is preparing me for labor. <laughs> And of course, the green smoothie. Cheers. Today we are going to our last and final holiday harvest farmer's market, which we have been lucky enough to have three of those throughout December and November. And it's a great way to stock up for the holidays and for us, stocking up for baby. So we're super blessed and excited and happy to be able to have this local farmer's market in the dead of winter when you wouldn't think that any produce was available. There's so many greens, so many fresh root veggies, so much goodness, and we get to see all kinds of friends, our favorite vendors from our summer farmer's market. So we're gonna take you guys along for the journey. We've been having lots of requests for an updated vegan food haul. So we're gonna show you our winter edition of that. And then after that, maybe we will take you through our pantry and our refrigerator when we get home. So if you guys are into these videos, give this a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Leave us some love in the comments below and let us know what you thought. Share this with friends and family and happy holidays. Gonna get some vegan kimchi. Butternut squash is one of my winter favorites. It's a must have. The best way I know how to make this is to rinse it, throw it in your crock pot as is, put it on low in about four to six hours. It is cooked and super easy to eat and so sweet and good. So chop them up, throw them on your pretty rainbow salad with peppermint tea. Okay guys, so we've got almost everything locally at our local co-op and the farmer's market, but we come to Whole Foods for our bananas because they are the best, the tastiest and the cheapest. We get a, a pretty solid discount when you buy by the case, so we're here for bananas. So we said we were only getting bananas, but these are the best looking pineapples on the planet and they're from Costa Rica, so if you guys haven't already, check out our Costa Rica retreat. I will link it below. We are monkeys. So everybody always asks us at the checkout, what do you do with a case of bananas? In fact, the girl just did. And you guys know what we do. We make smoothies pretty much every day, sometimes more than one. And today, I think we're going to do a smoothie feast, aren't we? Yep. Only smoothies, good for the gut. Bananas are for never-ending smoothies. So we are here at Love the Locals in Lincoln, Nebraska and it is over 50 local vendors from all across the state and we can't wait to hopefully get our Christmas shopping done. <laughs> Sarah over at Rutabaga, she does all vegan and gluten-free food and she's just blowing it out of the water. Everybody loves her stuff. She has collaborated with us on some of our plant-based dinners and now we are at Oso Vera, the cutest local baby clothes ever. That was Love the Locals. We're fortunate to have such a really awesome, tight-knit community here in Lincoln. There were a ton and of people. And it actually worked out nice because this might be our last hurrah as far as socializing goes. Yeah. And we saw like literally anybody and everybody that we're <laughs> friends with and yep. met a handful of people too. So it worked out nice. Yep, it was fun. And we've got all of our food. Baby's on the way. We're gonna go home. We feel like squirrels. We're gonna pack the food away. All right, so we just got home from the farmer's market and the grocery stores and our food hauling is complete. So we are rearing and ready for baby S. <laughs> We're gonna show you guys our vegan refrigerator and pantry and kind of tell you a little bit about how we like to use everything that we've stocked up with throughout the week. So let's take a look in the pantry first. We'll save the refrigerator for next. And Dusty and I are gonna kind of alternate and tell you guys what our favorites are. So bottom shelf here, I'll pull this out. This is basically like our smoothie, superfood, and supplement drawer. So over here, we've got our B12, D3, 
plenty of different varieties of it. We actually have some CBD oil, which we're trying out. Um, I've got my prenatal vitamins. I have actually, we have a separate video linked below for all of our supplements and then another one with my vegan pregnancy supplements. So you can watch those. What are some of our favorites to put in smoothies? We love maca powder. It's great for hormonal health and energy. Moringa is a fantastic green powder to boost your green smoothies. Cacao right here up front is like my favorite. I put that in all my smoothies. Yes, it's super high in antioxidants and it does give you a little boost of energy also. Maki powder is similar to acai berry, except it's even higher in antioxidants. Chia seeds, these are gonna be your best source of omega-3 fatty acids. We put tons of these in smoothies and sometimes make chia pudding. Turmeric powder is going to be great for any joint inflammation, pain, things like that that require a little anti-inflammatory power. Um, another one by Vimergy. We have a couple favorite brands of barley grass juice powder, but we love to put this in our smoothies. It just adds an extra boost of minerals to kind of alkalize your body if you're feeling acidic. This is our other favorite barley grass juice powder company, Daily Green Boost. Organic, raw, gluten-free, kosher, you name it. This stuff is clean, pure, and simple, and it tastes amazing in our green smoothies. Beetroot powder is one of my absolute favorites. I put it in like almost all my smoothies. So strawberries and beetroot are like one of my favorite smoothies. Tons of energy. Beets are great for blood oxygen levels, recovery, everything else. Pink pitaya, so I know that you guys have seen us use the frozen pitaya packs, but we also have some pitaya powder. We've got all of Bo's um, dog food supplements in here. If you guys haven't watched that video, go check out our vegan dog food recipe. This is one of my latest favorites, is this magnesium, this anti-stress drink. It's good for all kinds of stuff, sore muscles, um, sore back constipation I mean you can use this stuff for anything it's just a powder you put in some water so acai powder we are all fans of acai bowls another super potent antioxidant so along with ashwagandha that I already mentioned is schizandra so these are both adaptogenic herbs which if you guys don't know adaptogens grow like in in places like mountaintops and sea bottoms and the idea is that because they are grown in such harsh environments they adapt to their environments and so we want those in our body and so yeah Sergandra, ashwagandha there's a there's a bunch of them but those are some of our favorites we don't use spirulina as much as we used to but if we do this is the brand we love this pure hawaiian spirulina um by new tricks they these guys um we've collabed with them a little bit and we love it so for sweeteners and liquid sweeteners we usually go with maple syrup we also have um, agave nectar, and then we have um, some date nectar that we don't use as much. We'll typically just put dates in, like the whole date, in whatever we're trying to sweeten. But again, not you can't go wrong if you're making cookies or pancakes or whatever. Those are some really good liquid sweeteners. So We are moving more and more towards zero waste. So you can see on shelf number two here, we have tons of grains and beans and we do our best to buy in bulk as much as possible. So be nice to us. We are definitely a work in progress here and we're doing our best. So some of our go-to grains are going to be brown rice and quinoa and then lentils. So we've got green lentils and red lentils. So usually with the green and red lentils, we put them in our stews. They kind of almost give it more of a meaty texture or thicken it up. The red lentils really thicken up your stew if it's too watery and soupy because they almost kind of disintegrate. And especially during my pregnancy, these have been awesome options because my iron was a little bit low and lentils are super high in iron, so they keep you from developing anemia. And then we've got our dry beans and our canned beans, which honestly, lately we've been doing a lot more canned just to save time and effort. But ideally, the most healthiest option is going to be to soak your beans overnight and then cook them. Buckwheat is another fantastic source. This is a complete protein. It's actually a seed. You can make kind of a porridge similar to oatmeal with it. Sometimes we do buckwheat granola, so we'll soak it and sprout it and then put it in our dehydrator with dates and all kinds of good gooey sweetness. Steel cut oats, this is another pregnancy favorite as of late. We, Dusty and I used to eat steel cut oats every single day for breakfast about four years back. 
We've kind of gotten back into the habit lately of making them again, so we'll link below one of our favorite steel cut oat recipes. And again, these are also a good source of your iron, potassium, all kinds of other good stuff in there. So we obviously love Bob's Red Mill. That's, that's just a tr the honest truth, not a shout out. Bob's Red Mill soup mix too. We love this black bean soup mix. This 13 bean chili soup mix, we haven't made that one in a while, but this is one of our all time favorites, is this veggie soup mix, um, from, again, from Bob's Red Mill. That's super tasty, super easy to just throw in a pot, let it soak, and cook it up in just a few hours, and it's good to go. Okay, so this is TVP. This is something I hadn't heard of until very recently. It's textured vegetable protein. So this is made from soy, and it looks, feels, and if you ask me, it tastes like ground beef. So I made some pasta with red sauce the other night and I put the TVP in it and it was just like the meat sauce I used to eat when I was a kid. These are some noodles. They're not gluten free, but occasionally I have to get go back to Italy and these are organic. Bought these at Whole Foods and they're super affordable, super tasty. We also just made some chickpea noodles if we are eating pasta. Again, just some plain marinara and then some soup mixes so a tomato basil soup and dr mcdougall if you guys don't follow him go check him out he's the potato diet guy he has his own line of foods and i love some of his soups again super easy for me on the road throw these in the truck and off i go tomato paste heirloom tomatoes and our tomato puree these are the base for so many of our hearty winter stews in fact we have a really good indian stew that we put on the youtube channel not too long ago with some red curry paste and sweet potatoes it's like our favorite we'll link that one below okay next shelf up is again we try to buy as much in bulk as possible this is kind of like our nuts and seeds and dried fruit and anything that's kind of like snacky on the go type stuff to make a trail mix with or after dinner desserts. So over here we've got Dusty's favorite, pistachios, sunflower seeds, um, those are great for salads, pecans, those are good for all kinds of raw vegan like desserts and uh, pies and things. Cashews are fantastic to make cheesy cheddary sauces, um, different dips. We've got rolled oats back here, which we actually really prefer the steel cut oats, but we do like rolled sometimes. We've got walnuts, which we tend to soak and dehydrate and then keep in the refrigerator. Walnuts are gonna be your best source of omega-3 fatty acids as far as nuts go, and they're great for your brain. Almonds, we always tend to buy a bunch of almonds for homemade almond milk. We've got a link for that. A couple different homemade dairy-free milk recipes we can put below. We've got puffed millet. These are just like basically like Rice Krispies almost. One ingredient, simple and clean. We put those on our smoothie bowls. And then barucas. These are gonna be like one of your best superfood nuts. If you've never heard of them before, check out barucas. You can find them on Amazon or on their website, or our buddy Darren Olean, Super Life Living on Instagram. Okay, so we were just at the market and we got these local pecans. These are ridiculously good. They're super soft, super sweet. Put those on top of smoothie bowls. This is like raw vegan candy corner. <laughs> so these are white mulberry, mulberries. The, again, they're raw, along with our organic goji berries. Raw mango raw cacao nibs these are our smoothie bowl toppers these are our grab and go snacks we've got some dark chocolate because you can't live without dark chocolate some of these rice crackers we very rarely ever eat these things but they're super tasty if you're in a bind and you need just something to snack on raw peanut butter popcorn something that we don't make often but it's always good to have if, you, if you're having a movie night okay so on our top shelf here we have a lot of our things for making baked goods, and then we've got a lot of overflow. So there are excess superfood bags up here. Something we haven't tried or played around with yet is activated charcoal powder, but you can do a lot of things with that, like whiten your teeth even. So we also have dulse flakes. So this is sea veggie dulse, it is organic. If you buy this, you wanna make sure you get organic. Um, we use these flakes usually just on top of our salads because they're an extremely high source of iodine 
In fact, it says on here that a third cup has 780% iodine. So that is a tricky mineral to get into your diet. Um, it's gonna be a much better option to go with this whole food source as opposed to using iodized table salt. We got our gluten-free organic cereal that we love. Usually we just put this like as a topping on our nice cream or smoothie bowls to add a little crunch. This Mesa Sunrise by Nature's Path Organic is awesome. So then we've got Mary's Gone Crackers. These are our favorite like dinner time snack while we cook our stew kind of thing. So they're really good and clean and they have tons of omega-3 fatty acids and tons of different um, vinegars and things like that. And what are a few of our favorites to bake with? Usually if we're going to use like a granular sweetener, we go with coconut sugar. It's gonna be the closest thing to unrefined. And then for flours, we have tons of gluten-free flour options like this buckwheat flour, we have coconut flour, a lot of times we'll just use like a gluten-free oat flour or what else? Brown rice flour. I'll just show you our spice cabinet really quick. We have obviously built it up quite a bit over the years, but some of our go-tos are because we cook a lot of ethnic Indian type dishes, most of that comes down to like your spice arsenal. So we've got cumin, turmeric, cayenne, cinnamon, curry powder. Those are like what we use the most, I would say. And then everything else is just, in case you need it for a recipe, we've got it on hand. We really love this pink Himalayan salt. And then also this garlic salt from Trader Joe's. Those are our go-tos if we need to season anything. This I always love to put into our smoothies. Cinnamon is fantastic for balancing blood sugar. It's also highly anti-inflammatory. And this Ceylon cinnamon is going to be the best for you. It's the cleanest source. And here we keep are things like potatoes, onion, garlic. We've got our regular potatoes, some garlic there. Tons of sweet potatoes. We like Japanese, Hannah sweets, you name it, we eat it. And then right now we just have some yellow onions. So if you guys haven't already, watch the video linked below where we explain what belongs in the refrigerator, what belongs on the countertop, how to keep your produce fresh. It's a super helpful video that's been really popular that people enjoy. But let's see what's on the countertop right now. We've got an abundance of pineapples. This one's ready to get chopped. That's why it's front and center. We put these in our smoothies because they're super high in anti-inflammatory properties like bromelain. We've got papaya, tons of bananas of all different ripenesses. These are our closest to being ripe. We're kind of just waiting on those. These need a little bit of time. We've got avocados, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. We always use those for salads, and sometimes these ones we use for pasta sauces and soups. With our small blenders and stuff, we keep our protein. So we love this Live Well brand. They're super sustainable. And then we love um, Sun Warrior Warrior Blend. This is our go-to protein. Both of these are raw vegan, so they're about as clean and healthy as you can get. One of the first things I always do when we get back from the grocery store is I immediately rinse berries to have on hand, chopped and prepped, and I throw them in a Tupperware. So we've got a little bit of those. I've been like honestly snacking on them. <laughs> um, seasonal, these are some of our seasonal favorites. These are persimmons. This one's about halfway ripe. It's kind of mushy. This one is as hard as they come. You probably don't want to eat it like that. They get really sweet and gooey when they're like this which seems rotten, but it's definitely not. This one is gonna taste like, like nature's candy to the max. We've got our pumpkin and squash medley here. These we love to just throw in the crock pot and turn it on low and let it sit all day, just like this, and then it's really easy to slice into. Spaghetti squash is a great um, lower calorie alternative to regular pasta. And then pumpkins are just delicious for everything from smoothies to baked goods. Lovely basket with more fruit overflow. Citrus is really amazing right now in the winter time when you think that most fruit wouldn't be in season, go for citrus. Navel oranges, um, tangerines, mandarins, lemons, limes are gonna be super good right now. And then we've even got a little bit more stocked away right here, bananas and another butternut squash that we just grabbed at the farmer's market. So lots of overflow. These are the bananas we just got from the grocery. We will unpack these, lay them out here in the basement and let them ripen up. They usually take about a week or so. 
And like we said before, we let them ripen, freeze them up, and we've got smoothies for weeks. Now what you've all been waiting for. This is where the bulk of our eating happens. Our refrigerator and our freezer. Let's pop down to the freezer really quick. Really short and sweet here. We've got tons of frozen veggies. So some of our favorites are peas. We put in all of our soups and stews almost. And corn, we always just rinse under hot water and sprinkle it on our salads. And then we've got edamame, green beans. We love steaming those up. And more edamame, some of our favorite bread. This is Ezekiel bread. It stays a lot better if you put it in the freezer because it is all organic. It tends to mold very quickly in the refrigerator if you're not gonna eat it right away. And then these are all just frozen fruits. And so our go-to's are going to be frozen wild blueberries, which are higher in antioxidants just than just the regular blueberries. We've got raspberries, strawberries, mangoes. Those are our favorites. Um, and then this dragon fruit, frozen dragon fruit, which makes your smoothies incredibly hot pink and amazing. Something we've both been loving lately is frozen jackfruit. If you've never tried it, this is where Juicy Fruit Bubblegum got its flavor inspiration from. No joke, it tastes like bubblegum. And being pregnant, I'm always looking for high sources of vitamin E, and this is one fruit that is super high in vitamin E. It's hard to come by. And then frozen bananas, of course. So we let them ripen on the countertops, peel them, break them in half, and put them in these totes. And this is honestly probably the smallest stash of bananas we've ever had. Usually we have about five or six of these totes in here, but we just bought a new case, so it's ripening. Okay, so on to the main event. This is where the magic happens. So on the door here, we have all of our beverages. So this is some hemp milk we just made. We're gonna link that video down below. My water bottle, um, we have a soda stream. If you guys haven't heard of or seen the soda stream, we use this to make carbonated water at home. A little almond milk. And this is just all of our bulk flax seeds, um, tahini, things that need, once they're open, should be refrigerated. Down here are all of our condiments. We don't have that many. Some ketchup. Um, this liquid aminos is probably, or this coconut aminos is something we use pretty much every day. I like to put on my salads. Some taco sauce in case we do tacos. Taking a look at the other door, <laughs> we've got our omega-3 supplements. These are all algae-based, so completely vegan. They're high in DHA, EPA. And we've got some probiotics, more probiotic down here. Um, these are really great. Um, this has apple cider vinegar in it. This is actually local. It's by Spiritus Vitae Botanicals, our friends. They make this amazing stuff. Great for the gut health. Elderberry syrup we keep on hand if you feel like you have a cold or a cough coming on. It is amazing for your immune system. These right here are what we use as our convenient way of keeping like our nuts and seeds and powders to put on top of smoothie bowls and put into uh, the blender with smoothies. So our favorites would be chia, hemp, coconut, cacao, flax, and sometimes we'll even use sesame seeds. We've also got our ginger root and turmeric roots, which we like to add into our juices and smoothies for that anti-inflammatory benefit. Because we eat high raw, and I tend to even eat raw till four, we have tons of stuff in here that we get the bulk of our calories from. So we're eating a super clean, whole foods, plant-based diet. We've got all of these berries, which I tend to rinse when I'm going to eat them so they stay fresher that way. Um, we've got our pineapple for smoothies. And in the back, we've got dates. I've been eating tons of dates during my pregnancy. So I'll link a video to that below and tell you guys why. We've got dried prunes and a young coconut in the back for blending into smoothies. Middle shelf here, we have our leftover root veggie stew. Again, we're gonna have a lot of links in the description, I think, but you guys will not want to miss out on this one. This is our favorite dinner time stew. And then we've got some butternut squash that I had prepared in the crock pot. Chickpea noodles, Dusty's favorite, he loves pasta. Nutritional yeast, we basically use in place of like Parmesan cheese because it's got a cheesy flavor. We put it on our salads and soups and literally everything. We've got our raw organic almond butter. I've been loving that lately because again, it's a great source of vitamin E. We've got our soaked and dehydrated almonds and walnuts in the, refriger in the refrigerator where they'll keep longer. 
Baby carrots are awesome with hummus. Again, we do have some plastics. It's just how we found our greens keep the best. We have some romaine. And then we also have some mixed greens that we just got at the farmer's market. We have, we always put purple cabbage on our salads. It's fantastic for your gut health, teeming with healthy bacteria, as is this green cabbage. These pepper keepers are awesome for half chopped peppers that we put on our salads. Always keeping lots of avocados on hand to whip up guac or just whipped avocado for our salad as a dressing or healthy fat. Bottom shelf, we've got mixed salad greens, again, just for our salads. Spinach for salads and smoothies. Cauliflower, we love to either just steam up and sometimes we'll even put it in our food processor and make mashed cauliflower with some garlic flavor. Romanesco is probably one of the most beautiful plants, really similar to cauliflower. We just got that at the farmer's market. And then kohlrabi, which we recently just tried. This is from the market also. It is so, so good if you steam it up with some other veggies or roast it with a bunch of root veggies like sweet potatoes and beets. It's got a good, unique flavor. Drawer number one, we've got our curly kale. And then we also have our lacinato or dino kale. This is usually what we juice with or make smoothies with. Underneath, we've got some cucumbers for juicing and bell peppers for chopping up a salad. Drawer number two is our fruits. We've got tons and tons of these little baby mandarins. These are literally like another one of nature's candies. And then green apples we always put in our smoothies. They give it a good tart flavor. Honeycrisp apples are the best in the fall. They're so crisp and so sweet. We've got all kinds of lemons and limes. Kiwis we also love to put into our smoothies and I also chop them to put on our smoothie bowls. They are a fantastic source of vitamin C and if you rub and scrub and get that really cleaned up, you can eat the skin and it tastes perfectly fine. And the final drawer, we've got carrots, which we sometimes just chop into carrot sticks for hummus or we put them in our soups. We've got celery, which we usually juice with and again make soups with. Romaine, more of that for salads. It's just the sweetest and most hydrating. Um, sometimes we'll make our raw vegan porridge and we'll use these and dip it. And then we've got some radishes, and right now Brussels sprouts are one of our favorites to roast up along with carrots. And a lone beet. We love beets. You wanna do the honors? Yep, for Stinker's birthday. Yep. Come here, turkey. Can you sit? Shake. Other palm. Lay. Okay, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, now sing it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bo. Happy birthday to you. Look outside.